welcome to the Weekly News Show. My name is Jean-Marc Lejean. We have eight items on the list today, so let's count that. Number one, uh, Nintendo had a secret announcement. My brother, David, texted me. He said, go check it out. It's going to come out around 4 o'clock. Okay, forget about it. Come home. Start researching everything. And I saw this trailer. Um, and Nintendo is releasing Nintendo Labo. Nintendo Labo. So, so, if you haven't seen it, go watch it. Come back. I'll wait. It's shocking. Yeah, so Nintendo Labo is these cardboard cutouts that you make into things. They literally give you sheets of paper, cardboard, you literally have to put them together yourself, and then you play. There, it started with a piano, then a fishing rod, then there's a house, and like this weird candle thing, and then it being a bike, this like thing with these things on the bottom and it's like a little monster you can control and at first I was like this looks super dumb I don't like this this looks cheap it looks like Nintendo's trying to get a big buck out of everyone and I finished I sat down I told my wife she didn't like it the more I thought about it I was like if I were a kid if I were a young kid oh yeah, whoa, whoa, almost forgot there's also this robot thing where you make a VR helmet out of the Switch and two Joy-Cons and you could fight as the robot in a robot game. I also noticed on that picture that they're called Toy-Cons. So that's what these cardboard cutouts are called. Toy-Cons that you put your Joy-Cons in. I digress. If I were a kid, I'm not even going to lie to you. I would want this, especially that robot one. I would ask for it for Christmas and for my birthday. I would want that real bad. No joke. I would want that bad. The more I think about it, I'm like, yeah, VR, robot. I don't care if it doesn't work. I don't care if the strings break. I want that. And if I had a child, if I had a kid... Yeah, it would be fun to, like, build cardboard stuff with the kid and watch the kid play it. Be like, hey, I'm playing with a cardboard thing that'll probably last, like, a year before it breaks. Can you imagine? These kids are going to break these things in three seconds. Oh, uh, but yeah, it exists. It's going to exist. There's two SKUs, mixed one, and then the robot one. I can't even imagine putting that robo backpack together. It must be hard as poop. But yes, it is weird and strange. And I initially didn't like it. But if I had children in my life, in any capacity, if I were a child or had children, sure. I could, I could see little kids' brains exploding. As an adult, as an adult gamer, no, I'm not going to get it. I will not, when I get a Switch, I will not also buy this thing. It is weird for an adult to have this. Number two, in really, really good, exciting news, there's been rumors circulating that Fable, Fable 2, my favorite game of all time, which was great, but the Fable series will be coming back to Xbox. Will this be enough for me to get an Xbox? No. Because I could just play this on PC. But still, people are really excited. I'm really excited. I love Fables. It was one of my favorite, favorite games. I played it so much. And I'm so glad that it's coming back to the Xbox. Number three, Fortnite passes 40 million players. This is across all consoles, PS4, Xbox, and on Steam. This is crazy. This is a lot of players. It's free. So if you wanted to go play it, just download it and play it. I had it downloaded, but I needed to get room for new games I wanted to play, so I deleted it. But still, 
Uh, that's crazy. Uh, people are worried about its popularity, saying it might take away from other games. I doubt that. I'm happy for Fortnite. People said that they're a huge ripoff. They didn't want to play it, but I'm glad that they have relevance in the market. And I hope it's a fun game because uh, there's a new update coming out that's actually going to be like improving on things. So I definitely want to play that. So great. Number four, there's a new Final Fantasy Royal Edition coming out. Yeah, that's right. There's going to be one more. Well, I say one more update. Who knows? They're going to have 50 million more, but they're expanding the map. They're going to have new missions, and you could buy all of it together on a new game disc, or if you have the game already, you can, uh, you know, download the DLC. But they're just coming out with a physical copy with a new artwork attached to it. So that's also kind of crazy that there's another DLC coming out for Final Fantasy 15. I don't, I mean... I couldn't even beat it the first time I played it. It's, I don't know. I'm gonna stop talking about this. And number five, speaking of bringing things back, Assassin's Creed Rogue will be re-released on next-gen consoles. People call it the Assassin's Creed that everyone missed, but it's one of the best. I hear that it's actually a lot like Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, which is one of my favorite Assassin's Creed games. I played that to completion and all the DLC. I loved it. So, yeah, I think I might actually get this Assassin's Creed Rogue. I have heard really good things about it, so... You should get it too? Probably. Number six, World of Warcraft has level scaling today. Which means that you could go to worlds where there isn't... Where... You can go to leveling zones in the order of your choosing within limits. Prior to today's patch, there was a certain order of leveling a character in the World of Warcraft. New characters begin in a starting zone where they quested from level 1 to 10. Blah, blah, blah. But no longer. With level scaling implemented, starting zone experience and equipment rewards now scaling from level 1 to 20. Once players hit level 10, they can move on to Ghostlands. Lock Moden, Sewer Pine Forest, Azar, Bloody Mist Style. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. They improved World of Warcraft. I didn't think anyone was playing that anymore. Uh, maybe people are. Who knows? But uh, they did a thing. Number seven. Sony has revealed a new PS4, and I think it looks awesome. It is a new Monster Hunter World skin. Or not skin, just PlayStation 4 and PlayStation controller. I think it looks super cool and I'm upset that I already have a PlayStation 4 because I think this looks really cool. Number 8, there's a Yu-Gi-Oh card out there. How much would you pay for the most expensive, rarest Yu-Gi-Oh card? Would you say $100? You'd be wrong. Would you say, I don't know, $250? You'd still be wrong. How about $500? Nope. Alright, $1,000. Not even close. Alright. Ten thousand dollars. You're still wrong. All right, fifty. Nope. All right. I will. It's a hundred thousand. It's a hundred. Nope. It is not a hundred <laughs> for the most expensive Yu-Gi-Oh card in the world. It is four hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> It's on sale for four hundred thousand dollars. A piece of paper with stuff printed on it. <sighs> oh, I just words. Now it's time for most people's favorite part of the show: games that come out this. <laughs> Number one, let's get through them Nintendo games. And there's a lot of them. Festa, Nuclean, Gunhouse, Nightmare Boy, Tales of the Tiny Planets, World to the West, Darkest Dungeon, which I hear good things about, Ambitions of the Slime, Night in the Woods. And that's it. Wow. Number two, Sea Dogs. Um, do you like to see a guy walk in place over and over again? Because that's all this trailer told me for a long time. Just a guy. Oh, by the way, uh, this one's out for Steam. 
I've been trying to include that. Anyway, so yeah, he just keeps walking and walking and walking until he finally starts fighting, and it's an epic sea adventure, and you're just like a seaman, but they're called sea dogs in this. Uh, number three, Shotgun Legends. This one is also this one is also out for Steam, and uh, and uh, you basically looks like a top-down Zelda S game, except you have a shotgun. The conceit is you have a shotgun instead of a sword and a shield, and you are just shooting monsters. You're just shooting and shooting away, shooting the monsters. Cool. Number four, Nantucket, which is also a Steam game. Okay, uh, Nantucket, it had a live action part in the beginning. I uh, wasn't sure what it was about. And actually, you get on a boat, you're on the sails. Okay, another pirate game. But actually, it's a whaling game where you go around killing whales and getting their blubber and. I guess selling it or something. So, wow, it's a whaling game. Wow. Number five, Albert and Auto. This trailer is really short and doesn't really tell you a lot what's going on in the game, but it looks really interesting and artsy and looks like something like a side scroller that has interesting mechanics in it. Number six, Digimon Story, Cyber Sleuth, Human Memory. Well, I wanted to show video of this, but Ben Dynamco always, I mean always, does a copyright strike on my stuff when I do it. So I'm just showing pictures. It looks really good. It looks like a straight up Digimon game. Cool. And number seven, Inner Space. I don't know a lot about this. It looks interesting. This is coming out for all consoles. Uh, Switch, Steam, PS4, and Xbox One simultaneously coming out. And it's a whole lot. I didn't show you much. So there's Inner Space, y'all. That's it. Thank you for watching Weekly News Show. My name is Jean-Marc Lejean. Please hit the like, subscribe, more like, and see. And that was all the news. Now do whatever you want with it. Thanks for watching and tell your friends.